Hello everyone, welcome to this session and today I want to appreciate everyone for always watching the videos, subscribing and sharing. I do appreciate all the time. And uh, today we are going to cover various medications that are usually used in OSCE, either uh, for implementation portion or even in the scales. And uh, there are various medications that are usually available uh, for administration. And remember, for implementation, we usually cover only uh, oral medications. Should you find any IV medication, IM medication, uh, just take to assessor that you will come and administer it later. But for the OSCE implementation, only administer the oral medications. While administering these medications, you need to provide uh, the patient with the indication of the medication and the side effects prior to administering the medication because that's what uh, the patient should consider before consenting for such an intervention. Now, uh, there are various medications that you can find in OSCE, one of them being amlodipine. And amlodipine is used to control uh, high blood pressure and uh, it can lead to tiredness, dizziness or very fast heart rate because it has the potential of, have, of uh, reducing the blood pressure to lower levels. We have amoxic amoxicillin and uh, this uh, medication used to manage uh, bacterial infections and some of the side effects include stomach upset, muscle pain and uh, there could also be skin rash. We have bisoprol bisoprolol and uh, this also medication used to manage high blood pressure with side effects being dizziness cold extremities and tiredness just like any other antihypertensive we have calcium carbonate and uh, this is a calcium supplement and has a side effects of uh, constipation and can also lead to nausea and diarrhea we have uh, donepezil, and this is a medication used with uh, uh, symptoms of confusion and also to control issues such as forgetfulness in the case of dementia. And the patient might have side effects such as uh, loose tool, headache, or skin reactions. We have enalapril, which is also antihypertensive, and it's used to control the blood pressure. The patient can have side effects such as dizziness, blood vision, tiredness. There's also another common medication uh, that is ferrous fumarate and this is also an iron supplement and it is used to raise the blood levels, blood, uh, blood uh, the hemoglobin level. Remember you have to provide the patient with very very simple explanations for their for the medication so this is used to raise the blood levels or improve the hb and uh, it can have side effects such as stomach upset a loss of appetite and one can also have dark stool yeah there's also folic acid and this is also a supplement used to improve the blood levels it has side effects such as nausea and uh, stomach upset. Another common medication is furosemide or Lasix, and this is very common for CCF patients, that is end of life care patient. And uh, for this case, uh, it, you will have to explain it to meet uh, the, patient's, uh, the patient's scenario. And in this case, you will tell the patient, these are medication either used to, re to remove excess fluids from your body and side effects can be dizziness, fatigue, or headache. If the patient is hypertensive, you will also explain it in that form. It is a diuretic and it's also meant to control your blood, uh, your, your blood pressure. There's another medication called uh, glyclazide and this uh, medication uh, used to manage raised blood sugars and the side effects includes dizziness, sweating, and fatigue. And remember, before you administer this medication, you need to know the, the blood sugar levels of the patient. It has to be within 4 and 12, or depending uh, with the trust policies, okay? 
There's also another medication known as levothyroxine, and it is used to provide thyroid hormone uh, when the thyroid gland is uh, is underactive and one of the side effects could be flushing headache and malaise we also have another medication known as losartan potassium and that's also used to manage blood high blood pressure and the side effects can include dizziness and fatigue there is also another common medication uh, lorazepam and these are uh, this is in the same class with diazepam and such uh, anti-seizure medication. But for OSCE, you have to align the medication to the patient's condition. And in most cases, this medication is used to manage anxiety and also instances of insomnia. So one of the side effects would be uh, confusion, dizziness, and drowsiness. Okay, so take note of the indication you give to the patient. You give a wrong indication, you are most likely will fail that uh, that portion of OSCE. Then we have metformin hydrochloride, and it is used to manage high blood sugars. Side effects could include fatigue, nausea, and sweating. Also, you have to know the blood sugar levels. We have nitrofurantoin, and this is an antibiotic used to manage urinary tract infection, side effects being nausea, vomiting, and headache. Another common medication is ondansetron, uh, which is used to manage nausea and vomiting, and the side effect would revolve around constipation, headache, and also feeling hot, flashiness, okay? Uh, there is also a uh, prednisolone or prednison, depending on what is provided, commonly used for COPD patient, asthma patients. Okay, so while giving your explanation, you will state that this is an anti allergy medication and it is used to assist in easing your breathing. Okay, and the side effects will revolve under fatigue, stomach upset and uh, skin rashes okay we have a very common medication paracetamol and uh, this uh, the explanation will revolve around patient's condition this is used to manage pain or if the patient has high temperature then you would consider such okay and uh, some of the side effects would include skin rash uh, fatigue and and flushing okay we have uh, ramipril, that's also antihypertensive medication used to manage the blood pressure levels. And uh, side effects would revolve around dizziness and fatigue because it has the potential of reducing the blood pressure to lower levels. We have salbutamol and this is common for the inhaler. Uh, you will just state that this is a bronchodilator and it helps make the work of breathing easier. Yeah, uh, And uh, the side effects will include dry mouth and increased heart rate, as simple as that. Then we have sertraline. These are common medication for depressed, depressed patients and it is used to manage uh, uh, it is used to manage depressive illnesses and post-traumatic stress disorders. For this case, you will explain to the patient that this medication uh, will help in elevating your mood. Yeah, And uh, the side effects would revolve around dizziness, constipation, diarrhea, and uh, dry mouth, things of that kind. We have trimethoprim. And this is also used to manage uh, uh, respiratory infection and also urinary tract infection. So if a patient has UTI, most probably you will meet this medication. And the side effects will uh, re include skin rashes, headache, uh, nausea, and vomiting. Okay. Uh, for, for patients who are immobile, another medication that you are... Uh, for patients who are immobile, the medication that you are likely to meet is warfarin, and this is used to prevent uh, clotting of blood due to inactivity. And the side effect would be 
uh, bleeding okay and uh, you can also have the rare and things like uh, jaundice the yellowish coloration in your, in uh, in your eyes and things of that kind there's also another medication known as ferrous sulfate and this is also an iron supplement used to manage anemia and uh, the the side effect would revolve around a constipation diarrhea and having dark stool we have captopril uh, that's antihypertensive the pril the uh, the that class of medication are used to manage uh, high blood pressure and the side effects would revolve around dizziness drowsiness dry mouth and things of that kind including fatigue and headache uh, another medication that you are likely to meet in uh, uh, im injection is uh, uh, not im not uh, im injection skill but uh, one of the medication you can meet especially in nursing home setup is oxybutynin hydrochloride and uh, this is used to manage uh, overactive bladder the urinary agency the frequency and the incontinence okay and uh, in this case the side effects that you are likely to encounter are dry eyes dry mouth and palpitations uh, uh, some of the new medications that you are uh, you are likely to meet is also citalopram and it is also used to elevate mood okay just like Cetraline and for citalopram, uh, you will just say that it is used to elevate moods and side effects revolve around headache, diarrhea, and constipation. Uh, the other remaining medication is aspirin, which is also very common, and uh, this is used to prevent clotting of blood, especially for the stroke patients. And the side effects would revolve around bleeding and skin reactions so those forms some of the common medications that are used in oske they ch change time to term but at least you have a picture of what to expect from your medication remember for the medications know their classes if they are antihypertensives while administering them ensure you ask the assessor the blood pressure levels okay and if it is uh, the 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 anti-glycemics uh, consider to check the blood sugar levels and ensure they are within the expected range. Uh, that's, that's very key for us. Should you be unsure of any medication, then better you call it and seek further, further uh, illustration from the prescriber. Never administer any medication you are not sure of either indication or side effects because you sh you are supposed to give these two elements prior to administering the medication you will be provi provided with a bnf uh, to confirm and also check indication for the patient and in our next video we will consider the use of bnf in oske implementation thank you so much everyone uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and i wish everyone well i'm happy with those who are passing their oski and oski is very easy you only just need confidence and practice and you will be good to go thank you so much and see you next time bye